and I was like you know when you hi right I'm gonna have a go at um, faves and fails okay so um maybe a little bit unconventional I'm not really I'm not really sure how this is gonna go but um, I've got a lot of stuff to get through um, um, I just went around this morning picking up stuff that I use all the time um, but kind of lost my way with what I was actually heading for so I'm just doing it you know what I'm like just being Jules right okay so let's start off um, with a couple of uh, things that I'm that I'm using all of the all of the time and gradually getting actually wait a minute I'm missing something quick quick <laughs> Dolly and Dotty! Say hello! Who's that camera? Hmm? Okay. There you go. Okay, right, start again. So, first thing is, uh, the sun's out at the moment, and um, I've got this. San Moritz uh, bronzing, tan or tanning mousse in medium. Oh, I need to catch my breath. So overweight. Um, this is a really dirty and used one. This is what it should look like. This is my next one. It's not empty yet. Johnny had a good go at that last night. Well, I did. Um, so yeah, these are my absolute favourites. Uh, they're both the same. One's bigger than the other. One's like that was the same price as that one. Different sizes, but anyway, yes. Yeah, so absolutely love them. I haven't washed it off yet today. Um, haven't put it on yesterday. Yesterday. I just wanna. Test the settings. I feel like I feel like I'm washed out. Maybe I'm not. I don't know. Game changer tip. Well, I learnt this from TikTok. These. These things are amazing. Um, for a number of things. Oh, I don't think there was a thumb in that one. Me. Um, so yeah, these um, put your fake tan on with these. Don't use a mitt anymore. What all the mitt does is it soaks up all of your, soaks up all of the product, and um, you just keep rubbing and rubbing and rubbing. Someone said to me, uh, you know, years and years ago, did I tell you the story about fake tan? I was really rubbish at it, and I couldn't ever get it to work. And then someone said, do you use a mitt? I'm like, no, I'm not paying five pound for one of those. But I did pay five pound for one of those, and it was a game changer. So um, yes, they're, but they're even better because you, you use all the product. You can feel your skin, you can get it, I don't know about you, but obviously I'm overweight and I can't get to my back properly. And I've already got like a little patch that big now that I can't get to, other than, what well, that big, because when you've got the mitt on, you've got no dexterity in your fingers. So get yourself some of them. There's millions of them around at the moment, isn't there, because of C-O-V-I-D. What was that, Bing? Don't know. Uh, another fake, oh, 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 hold on. Tip number two for fake tan. Get yourself one of these. This is, the absolute perfect thing for putting this on <laughs> on your fingers it, and your hand and the back of your hand so you get you take your gloves off when you're finished and then you've got white hands so you literally put i spray one square onto here all over your fingers open up your fingers put it all inside and for i mean look you, it's really good it's really even really great coverage can highly recommend any kind of you know the brushes that you don't want anymore use it all up um on the same theme of that this stuff oh this must be my fifty thousandth bottle um i buy it when it's on offer it's like five six dollars absolutely amazing cocoa butter so having spent hundreds of dollars on the solda de granera bum bum cream um this smells like I've never smelled anything before. It's my favourite smell. Absolutely amazing. Trouble is, it's not very moisturising and um, it doesn't last very long and it's really expensive. This stuff is amazing. I put this on before um, I do my tan, literally, and I don't wait 10 minutes like everyone says. I, put, I wait like three and a half. Yes, get yourself some of that cocoa butter par Palmer's. It's been around forever and it is amazing. That's another favourite. Um, still on the sun topic this stuff la roche posse oh look at that light that's really naughty isn't it come on come back to me 
this is um, ultra water water resistant. It's basically um, I've done it in one of my other videos, but it's a creamy uh, but quite liquidy. There you go. Uh, smells amazing. And you put this all over your face before you go out to do your day. Uh, I don't know if, yeah, I've put it underneath my makeup before, many, many times actually. Um, obviously you don't get as much coverage. <clears throat> you probably need to use quite a lot, but it's amazing stuff. It lasts and it smells really, really good. Um, and obviously you need to put more on than you think because of how much you need, I think you need. And I just watched Angie Hot and Flashy and she said you need to put five millim mils on five millimeters five mils on which is a lot to get that coverage 50 so yeah get yourself some sunscreen even if you live in Iceland um, okay that was it uh, so this is a favorite I use this all the time my Maybelline fit me there's one here on the go already um, but I you know I'm gonna have to mention this as a an OG what does that mean original original but goody or oldie but goody yeah something like that I'm not a bit late to the game and I'm 52 so this is in fair light I find I've struggled to find a uh, power powder that's any better than that so that's my favorite for this month I'll try and do these every month but the trouble is that means I've got to buy stuff doesn't it and um, saving up for holidays and stuff but anyway we'll see how we see how we get on um, Dotty what are you doing Dotty come away from there please uh, favorites Obviously with my lashes, you know what I'm like. I've got me Ardell Wispies, Ardell 811s, which I put these on the other day and I wasn't that keen on them, but I hadn't cut it. So Ardell 811s and the Ardell Demi Wispies. By the time I've cut them, they are pretty much all the same. As you, I'll put them all, hang on. Why is that one upside down? I'll put these side by side so you can see the difference actually. I think that some of the shops have stopped selling Ardell lashes for some reason, which is really blooming annoying. There you go. So you can see, they, um, they are my favourites, and they always will be. One pair lasts me, oh, I don't know, four or five weeks, something like that, and it all goes a bit weird. So, yeah, that's it. Um, what else have we got? Um, hair product. This. I have the finest, the lankest, the most nondescript hair in the world. This is a powder. Let me see how I can show you this. There we go. Yay. It's a powder. Some of it's going up and that's really weird. There you go. It looks like snow. How romantic. Got all over my new camera. <laughs> um, that's apparently just dried hairspray, but you, you, I put it into the roots of my hair and I'll show you actually. Look, it just stays there. It's it's um, excuse me, <laughs> it's a game changer. I absolutely love it. I don't use it. I probably use it once a week, something like that. If I'm going to style my hair, I'm trying to avoid styling my hair over styling it. So um, that's fantastic. Schwartz got to be powderful. Uh, lovely, brilliant. Uh, this now. Okay, <laughs> did you see that? That squared over the other side of the room. I was sent this kindly. Uh, with the Thai Thai um, moisturise. This up a serum I put underneath my eyes. Hang on. Whoa, come on back. No. Sorry. Moisturise. This stuff, I do think is actually making a difference to my under eyes. I've, it, I've been using it for religiously every day now, probably for four to six weeks. And... Um, it comes in this lovely dispenser, it's great, so you don't get any goo around the top. There's only a tiny, tiny amount in here. Wait a minute, I'll tell you how much is in here. Not a lot. Half a fluid ounce. So one fluid is one, for, yeah. 14 mil. 14 mil, it comes in one of these. 30 mil, oh, okay. Well, it's the same size. That's got 30 mil in it, that's got 14, obviously. But, but anyway, I think it's quite expensive, but I really, really like this to go underneath my eyes. And I guess I'm probably at the age. Rich, intensive, moisturising serum for conditioning skin. Non-greasy, quickly restores skin to healthy, moisturised condition. Glycine and sodium, sodium hyaluronate, hyaluronate <laughs> for deep, lasting, 
hydration. Kapaku butter, vitamin E and ceramides help restore skin to natural lipids, promoting healthy, youthful skin for all skin types. And that's to go underneath your eyes, rich, intense moisturizer, so quickly restore skin to healthy. Blah, 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 you heard it. Love that. Um, another skincare thing. Now, I used to use the um, M. Hardy Moringa Balm to take off my makeup. Oh, that was flipping amazing and it was 50 quid. 50 pounds, I just can't afford that anymore. So now I use um, the Marks and Spencers one from the Pure range. There you go, look, it's, a, it's the same. It's 12 quid for that whole pot. Um, they did it, they did, used to be in a rose scent, but now it's, um, actually the old one's over there. But this is a cleanse formula. It smells maybe like aloe vera or something like that. It's just amazing. It's like um, Take the Day Off with by um, Clinique. Love that. Favourite. Um, I bought, I did an order for Makeup Geek and I ordered these colours. Oh my god, this colour here called Get Figgy With It. This one, I'll show you. It's absolutely my favourite eyeshadow I've ever, ever had. Um, I'll do a look, but I know that they've closed and I am really sorry, but that colour is stunning in fact all of these I, I went back on the website afterwards and thought i'm going to buy some more and then i thought i don't need to because all of the i've only ever one out of one makeup geek two makeup geeks in four or five years so no, i'm not going to buy any more of those but they are amazing um and i just wanted to share it because it is a favorite even, <laughs> even though you can't get it anymore uh another favorite um clarins this is the lotus treatment oil for your, I just put this all over my face when I go to bed at night. It's flipping lovely and it smells like amazing. Look, mmm, it's gorgeous. Honestly, it's absolutely blooming amazing. Love it, love it, love it. Love it. Um, uh, we've got the old, oh, good old, you know me, Rimmel Scandalize. We've got grey that's nearly nearly gone. We've got black. We've got green and we've got brown, which I've got in the look I've got at the moment. Um, they are amazing and always will be. That's sc uh, Rimmel Scandalize in a waterproof 24 hour and long wearing coal pencil. Amazing. And uh, yeah, they, it's it, by far the longest staying power and it doesn't go over that side of your eye. No, I mean, that side of your eye. Um, these typical things, the Sheen, Sheen, She Glam, one, £2.50 and you buy one and you get another one for two pence, so they work out at £1.25 each, £1.26. They are amazing, they beat the NYX ones hand down, hands down and I use the colour light brown, they are, f they are amazing, it'll probably only last about two or three weeks but for that amount of money who cares, the Anastasia one's like 17 quid I think, ridiculous, so they are brilliant. There's no links down below because I don't get affiliate links of anyone, so you know, but I'll list them. <laughs> of course. Right, I'm gonna do um this one here. Now uh in my last video I said I hated this when I got it. It's my favourite, I love it and I don't know how I live without it. Wet and Wild colour icon bronzer in sunset strip tees. This has got a shimmer in it and this makes my juicy juicy juicy. I love it, absolutely love it. So you can get this in England now in boots, probably even in Superdrug, I don't know. Um, last few things, I'm gonna go a little bit off of, well, I don't even know if I'm allowed to do this, but I'll do it for one. Two things, perfume. Pen Halligans, I don't even know if you get this in over the, over the pond in America. Pen Halligans, Hal Fetty. So we were in Brighton, Johnny and I, and we walked past this shop. Oh, well, actually, down, walking down the street, and I could smell this smell. I'm like, my God, what is that? And um, they were, apparently they sp spray it coming out of the shop into the street. And I was like, you know when you, you see these films and there's some or a little cartoon and there's someone running up the street chasing after a smell. <laughs> it's been like, what? And then she went, oh, we're just closing. We can come in if you like. I don't know how much it was. Stupid money. Well, I didn't buy it then anyway actually we didn't I didn't buy it until we went to Cambridge and I I bought it and it was in a set was it in a set yeah it was in a set 
I like it so. I mean, I, if I could I read the notes of it, I, I don't even. I can't even. It doesn't even say on there. It says by appointment to Her Majesty the Queen, London, eighteen seventy. Pen holidays. This came with it. This is the shower gel, and I bought another one of these. Oh, actually, it's body and hand wash. But yeah, so that goes in the shower, and even Johnny washes his hair with it. Can you believe it? But then he smells delicious when he comes downstairs. So who am I to complain? Um, so yeah, they they are. That's like proper expensive. I think it was like a hundred and fifty quid or something like that. Saying that, I've had it probably about nine months. Look, and I use it nearly every day, and I've still got some left. I've still got loads left. So I'm not going to throw that one in the box. <laughs> yeah, and there's the the shower gel to go with it. This is amazing, and um, yeah, really really lovely. And for a cheat on a cheaper note. I've had this for years and years and years, but this is Elizabeth Arden green tea, and it's just honestly, it's beautiful. It's almost as beautiful as the other one. This is like fifteen pounds. You can still buy it, and um, it's really fresh, like like Clinique Happy, um, really, 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 really uplifting and springy, and you know, just like not really floral. It's quite a, quite a strong scent, but it's very very fresh and very very zingy that's what i would say about that and um i would just say for 15 quid get yourself some that's a bloody big bottle as well i don't know how much is in there yeah i do come on julie look properly 100 milliliters you can even take it on an airplane how about that um that's about it i think uh, yeah i've just kind of thought i'd see how i'd get on and see how i'd do do it oh no it's not <laughs> Look! <laughs> Sorry. Right, should we talk about the fails? <laughs> I'm so crap at this, aren't I? I do apologise. Okie dokie. Right, so favourites. Uh, done favourites, haven't we? Fails. Okay. These ones. She Glam. Complexion Pro. Long lasting, breathable matte foundations. I bought two colours. The bottle is beautiful, I love it. I think they were like £11 each or something like that. Let's have a, let's have a squirt. It's very thick. Very thick. And it looks like... I mean, it's so full coverage. It's, you know, I reckon if you... When it stabbed somebody, you could probably cover it up with, you know, I've just covered up that purple easily and I've only a little bit on there. It's, um, it's really, 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 really cakey and probably if you were going out for the night and you were going to a nightclub or you were going somewhere where the lighting wasn't, was very kind to you, um, it probably would be great, but it's literally just like cement on my face and I do not like them. I'm going to put them in the bin because I'm never going to use them. I know I'm not. I did I tried again the day before yesterday. So they are a fail for me. This is also going to go in the bin. This was the Scandalize um uh for the nude nude um in a in a in a lower waterline. <laughs> um I don't like it. I've tried it, I've done I've done a video, I've done a couple of whatever is and I just I just can't get on with it I feel like it makes me look sick so that's a fail for me um and not a fail for the month a fail for my lifetime it's not good I don't like it um another black in, in I don't know why I keep trying new black in in waterline pencils because they're all rubbish they don't last I think this one broke actually the minute I took it out and it's um absolute crap that's a fail as well that's from she glam um now here we go a little warning to you all this is a rim will scandalize my favorite one i bought this from amazon in a set of five and it's a fake um you put it in and it lasts about an hour it's very strange so i guess i my my the, the thought process for having this in here is to warn you that if you're not buying it from I think it probably took two weeks to come, probably come from China, I don't know. But that's a fail because it's a fake, fakey fail. Uh, the only Essence mascara I've ever known to fail, to be a fail, is the Volume Stylist Curl and Hold Mascara. Um, I just can't get on with this. I don't know what it is, but it might be the brush. 
I just really can't get on with it. I find it really gloopy. I've tried probably 10 times and, uh, you know, for three pounds, I'm just going to not use it anymore. That's that one. She Glam, I thought, oh, you know, I'm on the on the Sheen website. I try their, um, you know, you know, I love my primer potion from Urban Decay. This was their eyeshadow, eyeshadow, whatever, eyeshadow primer, primer, <laughs> primer. Absolute rubbish. I don't know what that was all about. It was an absolute way. It didn't do anything at all, apart from, well, it pretended it was going to work. And then finally. Controversially, hang on, take a sip. Oh. Oops. <laughs> Drum roll. Oh no, you saw it! Bugger! This Stone Cold Fox. I'm not gonna throw it, but it's an it is an absolute fail. I've used this so many times now, and I every time I use it, I'm so disappointed. And I'll tell you why. These colours make a good combination. <sighs> You got a couple of dark browns. I, I I don't know what I don't know what else to do with it. I just look at it now and think, what can I do? You know, actually, I might take a couple of those shimmers out because I might have been able to use one of those today instead of using what I did use. I think I might do that because it, it really is such a letdown. And I watched everyone do this for a year, probably until I bought it, and I had a free shipping to the UK or free international shipping. Just su such a I, mean, I think I didn't open it for about a week. I was like, oh, I can't wait. I'm so excited. What a load of rubbish. Sorry. Sorry, Colourpop. I know one day you'll want to collaborate with me and then you'll hold me against, hold me against it. <laughs> anyway, that's my faves and fails for, well, forever, really, because that's the first one I've ever done. The next one will just be for the time from now until then. So that's my faves and fails forever. Um, thank you for joining me. And I'll save another load of rubbish up and some good stuff and show them to you in my next video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again. Bye.